Hey friends, it's Quinby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back for a good old fashioned clothing haul video. These are all items that I bought to resell on eBay or Poshmark. I've been reselling there for over 10 years and everything here is from the Salvation Army $2 sale. That's right, every single clothing item in the store was only $2. Shout out to my friends Jane and Stephanie who let me know about the sale. The only hiccup was that we were told it opened at 10 a.m. So I rolled up at 9.35 thinking I'll get a spot in the lot and then I'll just wait and get in line. No, when I pulled up at 9.35, the parking lot was full. The store was packed. I'm talking this is the busiest I've ever seen in this little store. So I do feel like things were picked over a little. I did not have the advantage of being the first one to get to things, but I still think I did pretty good. I got 32 items. So we're gonna buzz through this maybe a little bit faster just so I can show you what I got and tell you a little bit about it. So the first item is this long line, super stretchy cardigan with slits. And this is from the brand Beyond Yoga. And this is a size medium. I love this brand Beyond Yoga. I'll probably list that around the $40 mark. Please know that all the bloopers go to the end of the video so I can keep it real with you and you can see kind of the behind the scenes uh, footage here, which is probably the best part of the video. <laughs> Next up is this super cute kind of like uh, jacket, I guess, like a yoga jacket. It's from Gaiam Yoga, Gaiam Organics. They usually make eco-friendly organic type stuff and it's got this Asian inspired uh, graphic here. I think these are like Chinese letters. It has a little patch on it and it's like a cropped black yoga type jacket. So I'll be sure to use those keywords like organic, eco-friendly, yoga. This I got for brand. This is junk food. Junk food makes really great um, graphic tees. This is kind of a burnout tee and it just says, Chicago on it. So it's super soft. People who like this brand might like this item. And this is the brand Joie. Joie is sold at places like Nordstrom. This is a size large and it's linen. So I thought this is great. It's a little linen striped dress in a size large. I'll probably list this around the $30 mark. This is a beautiful blazer. It's by this brand Classics Entier. I've had mixed results with this brand to be honest. There's silk stuff tends to do well. And when I was selling and consigning with ThreadUp, I used to send this brand there because they marked it very high and so my payout would be great. This is a 10 cell Lyocell gray blazer and it has all these accent, lots of pleating. It has kind of a little peplum. When a top goes in at the waist and then kind of flares out, that's a peplum hem. It's very feminine and it has these beautiful button details. It feels like silk, but it's that great Tencel Lyocell higher quality fabric. Next up, we have a pair of jeans. I actually have a whole bin here of bottoms. So I'll go through the tops and blazers and dresses first and then I'll do the bottoms. I know I'm going faster than I usually do, but hopefully you're still getting some brand knowledge, some great keywords, and seeing what styles and things that I pick up to resell. These are American Eagle Outfitters jeans. Let me know where you guys are at with this brand. This was a brand I used to pick up if I could get it for five or six dollars, and it would flip for 25. I feel like the market on American Eagle jeans has gone down a little bit. I feel like I'm getting more like 15 to 18, so I'm not paying up for this anymore. But for two dollars, these are distressed and they're a flare leg. I'm trying to stay away from skinny leg jeans right now because I know word on the street is they're going out of style. These are an eight short and they are the kick boot. I love when a denim company puts the name right on there. It makes it easy to use the name in your title or maybe even find stock photos. And there's the classic American Eagle pocket. I find this is the pocket that everybody's looking for. I picked up this women's champion sweatshirt. It's kind of, I loved the olive green color and it's kind of a cropped sweatshirt. Now this, this I'm gonna tell you about. Absolutely love this, this ombre fade, gorgeous skirt, and it's from Maeve for Anthropology. I just love this tag even, and it's a large, okay? Well, I had been in the Salvation Army earlier, and I picked up the skirt and planned to buy it, but I found some staining on it. So somewhere on this white area like this, 
You can see there's some staining on it. Now I wasn't willing to pay $6.99 full price for a skirt that had stains, but would I pay $2 to take a risk and then use my amazing stain treatment on it? Yes, I would. My favorite stain formula, get ready. You might want to write it down if you don't already know. I mixed together blue Dawn dish liquid, baking soda, and hydrogen peroxide. I don't know exactly what the ratios are. I just mix it until it's like a paste. Then I put the paste and I rub it on the stained area and then I let it sit for at least a few hours. Better if you can do it overnight. I swear it is like a miracle stain treating formula. Have you taken a moment to make sure you've hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel? I do a lot of thrift with me's, thrift hauls, unboxings, and reseller related content. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss another video. This is another item I was willing to take a little bit of a chance on for $2. It's J. Crew and it's black label J. Crew. So that means it's not like J. Crew factory, it's a little bit higher end. Absolutely gorgeous olive green top and it's a size eight and it's all sequined. It does have a little bit of, um, it's not stained, it just needs to be like washed. It's like someone went out on date night to a party and had a little something to eat and spilled it on their shirt and didn't wipe it off. This is gonna be a super clean, I'm gonna put it in my sink, like hand washing delicate, but I just think that is so blingy and fun. I love it. Next item, this is Cupcakes and Cashmere, and I love the style on this sweater. So this is a true wrap sweater. So it's not a faux wrap where it's um, sewn shut, it's got a tie wrap, and then it has a bell sleeve, so that's a great style on that one. These I kind of bought for myself. I'm going to see. So these are like faux leather leggings. Now, when I went to the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale recently, those videos are up on the channel. Everything was faux leather pants. Wide leg, boot cut leggings, faux leather. Faux leather moto type pants are everywhere. I have not personally tried them, so I figured the, why not give these ones a try? They're BBJ and they're an XL. I don't really know anything about this brand, but I'm hoping even if they don't fit me, there we go. And they look new. So even if they don't fit me, I'll just resell them because they're really trendy right now. So, okay, this is one of my favorite brands, Marine Layer. Love this brand. Is it getting, there we go, Marine Layer. This is a size medium t-shirt with a pocket and a little stripe. I think this might be men's. I'm going to guess that it is. I love this brand Marine Layer. It sells really fast. It's a really popular brand. And this, these I was like, you guys, I'll be honest. This was not my favorite thrifting experience. It was so busy. Everybody was up in my personal bubble space. And which I understand. I mean, it was packed $2 for every piece of clothing item in the stores. And that's fine. I, I, me and a lot of people were like, oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, can I get through? No problem. But every once in a while, there'd be this woman that would come and I'm right here going through and she would literally reach her hand in front of me and grab something. I had to say something. I said, oh my, I'm sorry, but that's a little awkward and when you reach right in front of me, like it was bad. So. I was trying to go to places where there weren't a lot of people. So I end up in the men's and there's like endless men t-shirts and men's shorts. And I'm flipping through and I'm like, why would I be looking through the shorts, Quemby? Well, here's why, because you can be looking through and find Everlane. I love this brand Everlane. In men's and women's, it sells great. And these are a really cool, like slim fit um, short. So that's fantastic. Did you see my recent video? I ordered an entire box of new with tag Everlane's jeans. I got them from Helpsy Source. And um, the feedback on that video has been great. I think it was an excellent box. I have a discount with Helpsy Source. If when you're checking out, you put the Grateful Queen all in caps as a coupon code, you get 10% off. It's amazing. They've been having some really great boxes. On there, you can you can search by brand, and they have had they have love, love and for love and lemons right now. They have so many good brands, so check them out. Um, I just love selling Everlane. This is a J Crew top, a J Crew, a black label, size six, just a really cute eyelet top, entirely eyelet with some lace details in a navy blue. So that's good. I still love selling J Crew. 
I know not everybody's into it. This is a brand I've not, this is my third time finding it. So it's kind of exciting. I don't know if this is a newer brand. It's Pact, P-A-C-T, made with super soft premium organic cotton. And they're a large Pact. There you go. So I bought a dress from this brand at another thrift store. It was in one of my videos. I bought it for $5. It sold immediately for $35 within like a few hours. I found another pair of packed pants, but I think I'm keeping them. I feel so bad. No, I don't really. I keep whatever I want. <laughs> Anyway, they're like organic cotton brown ones and they're all wide leg with a slit. I think I'm keeping those. These are a size large organic leggings. I'll probably list those because if you want to make money in this business, you can't keep everything. You have to actually list the things. Pro tip. This is a J. Crew blazer and it's a size six and the style on this is so good. Now, this is factory, J. Crew factory, because you can see those little diamonds underneath the label that lets you know it's factory, so it's not as high end. But there's so much to know because J. Crew blazers do particularly well. Within the brand J. Crew, there's all sorts of bolo blazers, so if you can find a velvet blazer by them, you can get over $50. If you can find the schoolboy blazer, you can get over $50. So there are some bolo within J. Crew and the blazers. I absolutely love this turquoise color on this one. And then it has the gold button accents. It's in such good shape and it's lined and I believe it's wool. So for $2, that seemed like a really uh, safe pickup. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you're going to know that I love talking about selling mature women's brands like Chico's and within Chico's, I like selling the Travelers. Well, these are really cool because they're Chico's Travelers. That's like a line they make where you can travel in them and they don't um, wrinkle. And these are a size one, so they're about a medium, but these are velvet. I've never found the velvet pants and you know I love a good velvet trouser. I think every woman um, might want to consider having a velvet blazer in their wardrobe. It just elevates a, um, an outfit, even if you wear it with jeans and a blaze, a velvet blazer. It's such a good look for like date night or a party or whatever. This I bought for style. I don't know anything about the brand is Peacock Ways, but it's a linen blazer. Blazers are normally $9.99, so to get them for two is fantastic. It's linen, and then it's got these cool accent kind of Asian-inspired coins on there. Kind of reminds me of like a majorette blazer, so I'll have to do a little bit of research. I'll show you the tag, even though I don't think it's anything. Peacock Ways. This is an example of something I bought for style because it's linen and it has these buttons on it. I'll be able to use a lot of fun keywords. Okay, this I bought for myself. Uh, it's a wrap dress and it's all accordion pleated. It's just H&M, but I'd seen it before. And at my stores, you still can't try things on. The dressing rooms have been closed since the pandemic. I'm filming this at the very end of January, 2023. And we still have zero um, clothing rooms open, changing rooms. So I'm gonna try this on. It's a wrap front accordion pleat midi dress. This I have to do some research on. I should have used Google Lens. See this tag? It looks like a really good tag, but I can't ascertain what the brand is quite yet, so I'll do my research. It says on it, wear recklessly, return, recycle, repeat. Made in Morocco, a viscose, okay? It's a romper. <sighs> oh, I love a good romper, and it has these side ties. It's just super cute. So this could turn out to be something interesting if I can research that brand a little bit. It's made really well and there's lots of good details and it's a very cute style. So we'll see, $2 risk. This is an REI hoodie. It seems like a very modern piece for them. Nice athletic women's hoodie in a size small with some thumb, thumb holes. I'm going so quick, I can feel it. Okay, we are moving on to the bottoms. Denim had been massively picked over, and like I said, denim is usually $9.99, so to be able to get it for $2 is pretty amazing. I bought these Old Navy boyfriend jeans because they're new with tag, and they're a size 16, and boyfriend jeans are very popular right now as a style. 
If these were a size two, would I have bought them? No. If they were pre-owned, I don't think I would have bought them, but because they're plus size and new with tag, I bought them. I got myself some Levi's 5.11s in a 30-30. Some men's Levi's 5.11 black jeans. They're like a straight leg in a 30-30 for $2. Probably an easy $20 to $30 flip there. This is a great brand. It's Habitat. Habitat makes a lot of lag and look clothes, that boho layering style. And these are a ponte knit. When you find a pair of pants or leggings and it's a thicker knit, it's ponte, P-O-N-T-E. And these have some seam details and they're a great little pickup for two bucks. I got another pair of Levi's here. Again, I'm trying to stay away from the skinny. These are the 714 straight in a size 28. There we go, 714 straight. A dark wash, straight leg jeans in really great condition. Not a bad size on those. These are new Tag Adidas pants. They're the, called the Weekender pant and they're in a size XL. Let me do the pocket test. I think these are men's. They were in the women's yoga legging area. They're men's. Men's size XL new tag Adidas pants. These are kind of like a track pant. This is a brand I love to sell. And the brand is, there's the logo, Prana. And these are a size small. And these are a pair of skinny leggings in like a purple space dye. These I bought for myself. I don't know what these are. I didn't even... These are world market. These are not something I would buy for resale, but for me, ombre tie dye sweatpants. They're kind of like a harem pant with that really, really long uh, rise there and some pockets. Put those in the Quemby pile. Next, we have another great brand, Standard James Purse. They do that kind of vanity sizing, so a three is like a large or an extra large. This brand is really known for their comfortable, um, great feeling fabrics. A black pair of leggings by a great brand. They're super soft. Their materials are really amazing. Linen pants, you guys know I love these. Okay, this is Caslon. Caslon is just a brand that is sold like a Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack house brand. So nothing great there. So, but I bought these because they're a 2X. So this is something I bought for size and style, not brand. So um, these are a 2X wide leg linen pants. You guys know I live in Northern California. I love linen. We wear linen all year round. It's a great fabric. People love it. Plus size and linen. So that's pretty good. What are these leggings? Oh, these are Athleta. Athleta, Athleta, whatever the heck it is. Size medium, I was so surprised that these were still there. This is one of my, my better selling athletic brands. Skinny, like seven eighth leggings. And they've got some sort of like swirly panels on them. That'll be an easy 18 to 25 bucks. Ah, uh, these are a pair of Chico's, I bet I can feel the fabric. Yes, Chico's Weekends by Chico's. I've sold this style of pant and skirt and short a million times. They're just like a uh, cargo type pant and like a silky material. If I can get these cheap, I pick them up because again, they're like a $20 flip. People know this style from Chico's and they love it. A couple more things. How do you think I did? Please be sure to let me know in the comments. This was a really good pickup too, you guys. Not your daughter's jeans, new with tag and plus size. So this is a pair of stretchy, brown, plus size women's trousers from Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I used to pick up this brand all the time because it used to sell so well. Now I only pick it up. Um, there are certain styles within the brand Not Your Daughter's Jeans that still do really well, but a lot of it doesn't. These are uh, size 16 straight, and they don't have the price on them, but this is an expensive brand. It looks like this. When I list this, I put, I, I spell out the whole name, but I also put N-Y-D-J because a lot of people just look for it. Um, 
that way. And lastly, another pair of pants. These are some Chico size one regular, which is a US size eight. Just a brown kind of straight leg, stretchy, stretchy pants. There you go. Not bad. My whole total was $64 for all of this stuff, which I think is absolutely amazing. If you've made it this far in the haul, I appreciate you so much for watching. I hope you'll leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video, friends. Bye. This is gonna be awkward trying to get the clothes on the whatever. On the rack, Quemby, the rack. I have got the hardest stains out using that formula. I think it's pretty popular for following me. F -f 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 iced coffee break. I've been on the iced coffee, off the iced coffee. If I start drinking it all the time or in quantity, what ends up happening is I get headachey. So I'll say I'm going off for a while and then I go back on. I'm addicted and I love it so much. It's really hard to give up. Again, with the black label, I have to get my big head out of the photo if it's going to focus. Is that right? This is a, I'm wearing myself out. This is a huge haul and I haven't even got into the bottoms yet. Keep moving on. Let's just keep, keep moving along, Quimby. That's all you can do. Okay.